Pharmaceutical companies use AI software to find new medicines. One company recently tested if their software could be used to speed up the development of new biochemical weapons. A very clear yes was the worrying answer. In fact, the artificially intelligent software was able to come up with thousands of molecules that could be used as chemical weapons in just a few hours. Some of these molecules are already known to us, like the nerve agent VX, but some new molecules look like they could be even more dangerous than known chemical weapons. This was the result of a question from the Swiss Federal Institute for Nuclear, Biological, and Chemical Protection. The institute asked them to give a talk about how technologies that were made to help find new drugs could be used in bad ways. The pharmaceutical company says in Nature Machine Intelligence magazine that the question really caught them off guard. It had never occurred to us that artificially intelligent software designed to find drugs could be used by people who want to get biological or chemical weapons. We've been using computers and AI for decades to help people's health, not to hurt it. The molecular design software Megasyn was used by the pharmaceutical researchers for the project. It uses integrated machine learning models to predict how proposed molecules will work and if they will be harmful. Usually, the artificially intelligent software is taught to ignore toxic molecules and focus on bioactive molecules. The ultimate goal is to find molecules that can be used to treat diseases. The software has already found a few substances that have already been made by other people. It shows that the software can do the same thing that researchers used to do, but much faster. It also suggests that the software can make molecules that we don't know about yet but that are very interesting from a pharmaceutical point of view. Researchers were starting to wonder if it could also be used for totally different things. They tried it out and made some small changes to the software. Before, the model was taught to ignore molecules that were harmful, but now it could look for both harmful and helpful molecules. So that the software would know what to do, they told it to look for neurotoxins. A few grains the size of a grain of salt are enough to kill someone, just like a few grains of the nerve agent VX, which is one of the most dangerous chemical weapons made in the 20th century. The program then started working. And it worked, in less than six hours, the software made 40,000 molecules that looked like they could be used to make biochemical weapons. It wasn't strange that the software could make so many molecules in such a short amount of time. But it was shocking that the software found a number of known biochemical weapons. Then it found thousands more molecules that had never been seen before. Some of which are likely to be much more dangerous than the bioweapons we already know about. The researchers say, we had turned our harmless model from a useful tool for medicine into a source of probably dangerous molecules. It is crazy that software that was made with good intentions can be used in this way. Even more so when you think about the fact that the software the researchers used already existed and that most of the data the software used was available to the public. This should be a wake-up call for our colleagues who are using AI to find drugs, the researchers write, without being too alarmist. The study has some scary implications. The pharmaceutical researchers no longer have to think that their software can only be used to help people. They could be used in great ways for therapy, but they could also be abused. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel.